<laughs> I guess you can just start off with the intro this time, Bridger. Nope. I don't want it. That was, Nicole that was it right there. That was it. It's just <laughs> that, Sandman that's it. climaxing. <laughs> just like a gentle fucking. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> it's okay. Black doesn't need to edit any of this. <laughs> no, it's all it's all good. If he even knows how, he just puts in the commercials, and that's about it. That's right, oh, Black. Just the ads. <laughs> Who let? That's CRC Obama? What? Yeah. Did you guys not see when I posted that? Bro. No <laughs> I saw it and immediately Mr. posted President. CR Obama. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> Recruiters are allowing anything. Bro, That's why I... <laughs> me and Kyrie had to sit down with Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> I, the other fucking, what? I think it was like two or three weeks ago, I was sitting there loading in, and like, I was just dicking around like usual, just playing around with my kit, and I see this dude, like, join, I'm like, okay, that's an interesting name, and then he goes over and lines up with Minoc, and I'm like, a fucking course, we have a <laughs> CR Rama, like, what? Oh, yeah. you fucking, are you kidding me? <laughs> I still... I still hey, almost giggle whenever I see Rommel and remember that he's in my hook. <laughs> I've been winning my whole life. Oh, look, here comes CR Heimrich Himmler on the way as well. <laughs> Great. Oh, God. I guess I guess I will start the intro. Yeah, we had to come up with some I miss, filler. To I put don't know. I miss Valhalla. He's usual the filler guy. You know, he just kind of goes like, but we also waited 40 minutes hey guys, we'd be I'm done talking with Neb. <laughs> yeah, well. Long conversation. Well, I'm a busy man, Aiden. God, I know, I've been busy since recording. 3 o'clock already. <laughs> <laughs> it's already hour 6 for me. Aiden, I'm Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording the podcast. <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was Why Bridger, do I do uh, this myself? Bridger or Aiden, that was perfect. I thank you. Yeah, it's spot on impression. Ling linguistics. <laughs> uh, Wonderful. Yeah, anyway, welcome back to We Are Fire One. Did you miss us? It's been a couple weeks, obviously. Uh, we are uh, working on our new schedule here. Um, Dusty and I are going to be splitting time here at, uh, at host, uh, re-alternating weeks. Um, and uh, we're going to get right back on, on the saddle here and, and uh, see what we can do. Uh, Sandman's here. Val, Val is still out. Apparently, his computer exploded. I don't really know what happened. His car you know. exploded. His car exploded. Oh my! It didn't God. actually explode. Like a car, but bomb? it doesn't work no more. It's, it's right. same thing. <laughs> if, if he's he... redheaded, does that make it an Irish car bomb? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it really wasn't a significant explosion. If he's still alive, so we don't really need. Oh no, I haven't heard. I guess, they, <laughs> I guess the hit that I put out at him failed. <laughs> So it was the Irish car bomb. Val, we miss you. God. Please come back. Um, but um, we got a uh, we got Aiden here again, who's who. If you haven't heard already, is recording. Good job, Aiden. 07. So I'm also um, been the one annoying you guys to make sure we're actually starting yeah. these regularly. Yeah. <laughs> Aiden wants all of you to know that he's doing all the work. Anyway, um, <laughs> we're uh, we got my goal in life. <laughs> We got a good episode for you. So we've got a we got a we got an elder elder statesman here today um, of both Ark and uh, and the unit in general. Um, we're gonna get to him in a bit here, and uh, he'll be weighing in on some of the controversy here today. Um, but we are gonna go ahead and just hop right into it. Uh, we'll start with uh, campaign news, um, and this should be pretty damn easy because if everybody's been under a rock or not. Uh, we've been on FTX the last couple of weeks. Um, good news for you, Avalanche. We're actually War Room at the time of this recording as released. I'm hoping that this is Monday. Please, God, Black, don't let me down. <laughs> it's <been> Monday. <laughs> um, uh, it should be uh, War Room back on for Avalanche. So uh, Avalanche is going back to uh, to fight. Um, I don't know if we're the same plan or not. I want to assume that we are, and we're finishing up here. Um, there is a new system for... Um, uh, for campaign, really quick here, um, it is essentially kind of a two-week process, and this came down from News Team, and I'll kind of explain that really quick. But essentially, you're going to have um, each company on for two weeks, 
uh, at a time. Uh, so Avalanche goes two weeks, and then Cyclone does two weeks, and then Campaign Team gets two weeks off. So essentially, you get your two weeks in, and then you come off for a month of, of, of rest, I, 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 I believe. And then, um, you know, you, uh, you, smack, you smack droid ass uh, when you get back. But that's kind of what the new system looks like, and that came from Campaign Team uh, very recently. As a matter of fact, it came from them at the time of this recording this evening on Sunday. Um, and that's as uh, fresh of, of news and information that I could give you. Um, so, Actually, great idea. Yeah, Having I mean, a rest too. They need a rest. Um, I think it's kind of been they've really never had a rest when it comes to campaign. It's always been work harder, yeah. bitch. <laughs> work harder. You, know? uh, you you have winter stand down coming soon. <laughs> it's only nine months away. It's only work. nine months where you have to do all of your planning. <laughs> yeah, and then work stand down came and they had to redo everything. <laughs> No, that's good though. They deserve a rest. That's, that's yeah, a so, fucking. So they're gonna go kind of off, off, you know, you know, into the wilderness. I suppose for those two weeks and, and rest, and then if you need to reevaluate anything, gives them a good time to do that. And you know, that's some good structuring they haven't seen before. So good on, uh, good on Charles for uh, for for that. So good stuff. So that's kind of what we're gonna be looking forward to here. War Room Monday night here. Um, catch the streams uh, for that, and that'll be posted in announcements when we get back. Do you enjoy the sweet, sweet grip of your brothers as they slowly work their way up your thigh? Do you enjoy when your brothers take their helmet off and put their soft lips on yours? Do you love every other person on the field hating your existence? Well then, good news. I have the solution just for you. Load up your favorite kit and slap on a sweet, sweet, juicy unicorn on your shoulder and watch all your dreams come true. Um, as far as Battalion this past week, ooh la la, sacre bleu. Don't forget the week before as well. And uh, I guess we did do the week before, right? Um, so the, and, and I'll kind of go back here. I think the biggest thing that was talked about um, was the, uh, there was something released. Oh, wow. Busy week for Charles. Uh, it was the CWs, uh, are not, not the news station with the sexy actors, but the, uh, you know, the equally sexy uh, warrant officers uh, are put out an MFR for some new uniforms. Um, pretty cool. Part of the part of the the, uh, the uniform design is black on the on the left arm there, and that looks uh, pretty cool. So you'll be able to identify them pretty easy, um, you know, going forward in the field. And they've never really had a kind of a structured uniform layout before, um, but that uh, that is one of the newer things um, that has been put up to vote. And I believe that uh, will go through tomorrow. It looks like it'll pass. So CW's gonna have uniforms, gonna be kitted out, gonna have supreme hoodies and shit. You know, can be hype beasts. Yeah. Is this Very where cool. you say like no cap and stuff like that? <laughs> Is that do you think, like, do you think, I, I do you think I'm lying or do you think I'm like <clears throat> full of sh like, do you think I'm like full of shit or no, do you think like, I you thought agree like with no me? cap was like a good fucking. Yeah. Like, you don't want, you don't want cap. Cap is bad. I, I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm the youngest here bad. and I have zero clue what cap I doubt really you're is. the youngest here in. Yeah. Someone yeah, goes, yeah. you know. Cap, you know what I mean? Like you, you'd be like, oh, that motherfucker just insulted me. Oh, so it's a bad thing to have cap. Oh yeah, cap yeah. is bad. Yeah, dude. Oh fuck. More you know. Yeah. When well, someone goes, you capping, or or they just go like, you say so. Say some. Say some ridiculous. <clears throat> I. Oh, Valhalla's a better arc trooper than me. <laughs> cap. <laughs> There you go. He's got it. You heard Straight it here. Fucking cat. There you go. Yep. That's that's a perfect instance of that. Outstanding. Yeah. No, thank you for that. So that's why. Um, yeah. When someone is trying to say that they're being serious, they say no cap. <laughs> oh, and so like it essentially <laughs> from my understanding, replaced, of like it. no shit. It's just like replaced no shit. Basically. Basically. It's like the church version like of no shit. shit. <laughs> it, it's your it's, grandparents' it's way of saying no shit. <laughs> We're All probably, right, you Grandpa Sandman, now open the email. <laughs> you got to click on it to open it. Hold on, I got to turn on the magic box. There's an update. 
That's that's an iPod, Sandman. <laughs> Uh, back in my day, we had iPod Originals and iPod Nanos. <laughs> now these kids have them on their wrists. And there's seven of them, apparently. Hey, I have an analog watch. What? What are you even talking about, Aiden? <laughs> He's just trying to relate. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. No cap. All right. See, 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 see. He's got it. Got um, other, I think last week, the, the week previous, from what I can remember, was very quiet. As I remember, uh, as I remember now, it was like a 30-minute meeting. Um, I would like to uh, officially congratulate Battalion for a 30-minute meeting. Um, I'm very proud of each and every one of you in that meeting. Um, great work. Um, and I hope to see more of those 30-minute meetings in the, in the future. <laughs> um, well, I, did I a love quick, you all. I, I did a quick check. Uh there's the helmet new form thing that you had brought up a few weeks ago. Well, that that got brought up like the ninth. Like three uh, it was on the sixteenth notes. So is a new helmet form. I don't know. Bridger no more about. Uh, also, uh, well, that uh, one. Well, that version. should have passed. Yeah, that should have passed on the sixteenth. So I mean, like we're uh, that also, passed. Yeah. Hey guys, if you want, you know, custom uniforms and polarized visors on your helmets, that I guess that passed. So. Yeah. And the uh, thugs of bitches. Oh yeah, we did talk yeah. about polarized visors last one. We did. Uh, also, yeah, we did. Uh, Swanee's did. looking yeah, to yeah. try and uh, add some new maps because I think we just got rid of a few that were unused. So maybe we'll be seeing some new places. So would not hurt some to of have old one guys of those. aren't so bored with oh boy, it's oh, this map again. <laughs> uh, what's Cavala? Hmm. <laughs> also, <laughs> the map Cavala. <laughs> No. One definite thing to bring up. Uh, what do you mean we deleted Altus from the map list? <laughs> <laughs> but one thing definitely bring up uh, is uh, CP Chaser is uh, looking to run another Ooh, film festival. That's right. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Way to go, Aiden. Yeah, um, Chaser is looking to run a new one. I think it's going to go on to summer. What did he say? That was uh, you have it, it was from that? April 1st all the way to October 1st. So, oh, that's a long time. That's a long one. You, you oh can make boy. a feature film. And I might die in between that time. I, I, I just know. I've been trying to make a film for like two years now, and I've gotten like maybe the first scene done. It takes a lot of effort to, to make get there eventually. That. So eventually, I would think in like three more like film contests. <laughs> I think I'll have enough. I think it'll I'll be put really it down. good. No, yeah, I, I, you know, it's okay. Target and Husky will already have made four by then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just have them make it for me. I think they could do that. And I believe the theme that uh, he's wanting to go for was Spooky Summer, since it's across the entirety of summer and early spooky fall. Spooky Summer. And ending so, like, just in time for us to watch them all right before uh, Halloween. Nice. So get your uh, nice. swim trunks and jack-o'-lanterns, I guess. <laughs> You can fit that into the film festival somehow. Do you think I have to do the theme? I mean, if I don't, I, I don't really care about winning, but I'm not going to do the theme. I'm going to do something like... Chase will probably you know, about some at some point soon. If I'm going to do uh, something, it's the journey of a cadet to to something interesting. So you're just TeamSpeak Avatar, essentially? <laughs> Basically. Yes. Yeah, could you tell? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Could you tell my TeamSpeak Avatar? What even is your team speak avatar, Aiden? Bridger knows what it is. Oh. Ah! <laughs> That's an individual. It's been that for like two Aiden, weeks. Where'd you get a photo of me and Mardi Gras? What the <laughs> you, you posted on the channel at some point in the past I few did? weeks, and I was like, I'm immediately taking that to bug him on TS. No, no, this was definitely Klinger. I would never have posted this. I'm, Maybe I'm, it was that. Stop dosing me. Don't, don't, don't dox me. <laughs> I have two I pictures of you. That is like. Are you, you know, how, do you know how much alcohol in oh this my, is? Yeah, <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> you like that? He's, he's gone. I earned every <laughs> single <laughs> one of those. Be of those be <laughs> I put so on for the unit. How many do you have on your neck? Well, what? so I, originally I was like, I'm gonna do one for everyone in the five zero first. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna put on for the unit. I'm gonna put on for my city. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> this city had some weight to it. Like I um. It looks like it. Oh it's significantly gosh. like his neck's still me. sore from it. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually really funny. Like I have this mirror on like my my dresser, so I have there. I literally took those off my neck and put it on the mirror. And like, it broke on the corner. <laughs> yeah, the mirror tilted down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Um, putting it out there. Yeah, no, there's 
there's 50 or 60 in that pile. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. A lot of people have seen my titties in New Orleans, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um, What were we talking about? <laughs> some, some, <laughs> some battalion news that we just right, finished hey, up, anyways, so that's next the, bit. like the most serious thing that we could do in this unit. Um, <laughs> yeah, helmets and shit, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but other than that, I think that's what we got working the, for for now, and we'll give you an update next week on uh, what uh, what, what else is new. I, I think um, we're getting uh, we're getting pretty close on a few things. Um, as far as Ox mod goes, um, I am going to use this time to talk about Server Ten very briefly here. I know we we're talking about it before we launched the episode here today, but please, like, if you are a a fellow platoon commander or you are in charge of writing an op board or you are a trooper who really likes to test new things and loves other things and like this is so important um please 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 try stuff out on server 10 get your platoon involved with with tests on server 10 um we are going like these changes were approved like they are done they're going to be they're happening we're testing them right now to make sure it is what everybody is cool with and is comfortable with um and and like to have a say in what happens one of the biggest problems that i think that ever kind of underwent in this unit is when we went from swap to swapless we didn't handle it in the right way um everybody on the qual team and the oxmod team right now is working their butts off to make sure that you guys get a product that you're happy to work with, you're happy to play with, and create some excitement for you guys around the assets that we use for years to come. Because I don't, God knows when freaking Arma 4 is coming out. I don't know when that's coming out. Sorry, I don't. A decade, at least. A decade. You'll be, some of you will be 55. Think about that. And you, you know who I'm talking about when I say that. Uh... So, yeah, Sandman. Old ass Terrifying. motherfucker. Um, so please, guys, like, we don't want anyone to feel like, you know, they don't have anything, you know, to do with it because these changes in the first place that are hap like have, hap have happened and are being tested right now came directly from, uh, like, your suggestions um, and what, you know, you guys wanted and your feedback. So if you want to keep being the change that you want to see, keep giving us that. Give that to Klinger. Give that to me. Um, shit, you know, give it to, you know, any one of your lovely qual team leads if you think, um, you know, that, um, that, that something should be changed. I know Aiden's already taken a couple on the chin this week. Um, you know, just go right up to them and, and just let it rip respectfully. Um, you know, so we just, you know, it needs to be enjoyable for everybody and we're going to get it right the first time, um, and not have to suffer for months on end afterwards. Um, so please, 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 please use server 10. Okay, I'm off my soapbox. <laughs> Is this where we now actually bring in the uh, uh, guest? Mm. Nope, my turn, no. No. I don't I don't I talk this entire time. I'm just here. It, it's just, it's me. It's my uh, my manifesto. Is about to get red now. I'm ready. My body's yeah. ready. You ready? You ready for I'm ready. It? All right. Jade platoon, arcs and support only. Change my mind. Hot take. Hot <laughs> take. <laughs> I kid. I kid. That's a joke. Please don't Jade remove me from my village. Get it? Because you know the gems. <laughs> Ten nine first sword done that. <laughs> That's literally slapper. their arcs. <laughs> Who do you think the first person to get guys is going to be? Oh, God. No, someone had it back in the day. One, one of the uh, Avalanche 1's platoon commanders, I think, three years ago. I think it was Sparrow was his name. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was a platoon commander. For him. <laughs> the God. first and last. I think there was a reason for that. I can't remember exactly <laughs> why. I'm gonna guess. Um, <laughs> have you ever been in the field, down in the dirt with your bros, mud running over the calves of your teammates, 
blood squirting from every orifice, just covering your face. You feel your brother's hot, warm liquids oozing down your hands. If you haven't experienced this, you haven't lived. Join the 501st Medical Detachment. Uh-oh. Did he just... Well, I don't, I don't think so. Team speaker right now. Did somebody... Oh. oh, no, we're all here. Are we good? We're all here? All right. It was just an awkward silence. Yeah. yeah. If I'm being totally honest, I had to rip a fart, and that's why I paused. <laughs> no, that's what threw us off. We just thought you'd, like, drop the to speak. Yeah. I also <laughs> muted to fucking dispense ice. So I'm like, oh, shit. I just disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I'm being um, hailing for well of it right now. <laughs> I don't know, Jay guys. That's this wild Jake platoon. Ugh. Everybody's wearing Jay guys and has a Z6 or something. Exactly. <laughs> well, on L now, you know. Uh, an L. <laughs> That was something that uh, that needed to happen. I don't know why it kicks like a it kick like a. Aiden can Aiden can probably tell you it, it gave us actual like painful shits that the rotary cannon is the one with no recoil. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, I was just handed it. I rewrote shit in three days. <laughs> painful bloody shits. Afterbirth. Anyway, yo, I'm getting ahead of myself. Speaking um, of support, though, when are we bring him back, fuck, and I'm gonna get this is the shit that I create enemies with. When are we getting a weapon heat back and barrel changes? Oh god, the, you the, liked that? That was terrible. My fucking immersion was just off the fucking charts with that. Dude, you shit. have like six barrels on that thing. You're like, <laughs> oh, hold on, guys, I gotta change my barrels. Oh, oh no, 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 for the L, um, for the L, for the L, not about that. No. No, Three. I like the new L. Currently, the only the only thing that <laughs> we're looking to have uh, overheat, oh, heating effect, and needing weapon, I mean, barrel change is marksmen, just so that they're not sitting just spamming. Uh, it's, it's, uh, oh. it's not. It's not restricted to it. If enough people want it, we'll do it. I mean, yeah, machine it could change if people phone. want it. Machine, but for now, <laughs> we're looking at getting away from you, that. You, you want... People didn't like. It. Aiden, I want to melt the barrel. Yes. <laughs> I want to cook bacon on my barrel, Aiden. <laughs> Please. What's, what's a weapons jam? Uncle oh. Aiden. <laughs> How do I you clear this weapon you jam? Are. I don't remember. I haven't toasted train in like. Six weeks. <laughs> yeah. I digress. Anyway, I guess we're going to move on now. <sighs> World's, this is the best episode we've ever done by far. We <laughs> don't have to get the blade. <laughs> no, no, uh, we'll get some home. Take your time. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Um, yeah, so, but uh, we'll uh, we'll move on here. Um, you know, Ox is definitely taking your suggestions. I know um, for on mine, Ox and Tardigrade is, is still full steam, and that is something that once. Um, Kind of infantry beat boop is, is 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 finished. Is everybody's going to be focusing on tardigrade, and that should be moving along at a, at a pretty good clip. So, and then the and then the ox mod team will go rest in a field like Thanos did at the end <laughs> of Infinity War. <clears throat> so, you know, with that, we'll, we'll wait and see. But um, I think by uh, by May by by the month of May here, we're going to be in a really good spot. So, we'll see where that where that puts us. Yeah, that's... Now, please give me something to do on my birthday again. Past Bro. three years, I've been doing like four different things on my birthday. Don't know why. Dude, close the computer screen. You have all the power. <laughs> I once Bro. did like three trainings on my birthday. <laughs> Beep bop. Beep bop. Beep Hands up. down, some of the most fun I've had in Arma. Just like visually too, dude. Like I don't, <laughs> you know, I don't think I can ever recall a time that I've been in an op and like there's like. Nine grown men running across a field and razor flies by with a fucking trail of smoke, and everyone's like, "Whoa!" Like, <laughs> they got fucking, they got hit with an AA missile, and you see the trail, and everyone just fucking stops and's looking up. I can't recall a time that's happened so far. And what about the with this update? What about the four different colored terrifying B twos? <laughs> I can't see them. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, great. <laughs> I forget that a lot. <laughs> Bro, bring back the fucking goddamn... What do you call those things? T-Series, please! They're, they're also in Beep Boop! Oh, they're they're back, dude. Please yeah, they're fucking use it. them! I can't see the yellow on the fucking heads of the commander <laughs> droids! Stop using them, please! 
<laughs> Look at my description, please. Help me, I'm colorblind. <laughs> I can't see my brand. <laughs> Look, with, Look with your special eyes. <laughs> My special arc eyes that only I have. <laughs> I, I just can't wait for people to not know the difference Under between the DSD. <laughs> no! You what? You can't use that. Yeah, I mean, they got me. We got T-Series coming back. IG bodyguard oh, droids hey. are coming back. Oh, it's the suicide droids, right? <laughs> yeah, so that was something There's also that, normal ones. That, um, that Klinger did, and he added normal ones too, but um, suicide droids are actually... They're terrifying. Um, terrifying, but we actually, we also kind of discovered, and this was through training with my platoon, we also kind of discovered that it's an, it's an excellent training tool. <laughs> um, it kind of like, you know, in the past, like, you know, people would kind of walk up, you know, a droid and put it on hold fire and see if people, like, were still going to shoot it. Um, and it and it kind of taught discipline and, and whatnot to kind of assess the situation before, like, you know, running into a room, which we haven't really had to think about. You know, you run into a room like a fucking monkey and, you know, go, ah, and, um, you know, everything dies. You know, you don't have to worry about that. For this one, you got to really think about it. So now you're going to be like, okay, is it uh, is it going to explode or is it not? Um, <laughs> and, and then it, it teaches you kind of like discipline with, with, with that. Somebody actually brought up, I think it was great. I think um, CS great brought up that he wants to do um ig roulette and like put in like a group of five <laughs> only one of them explodes um and uh and, and, and well has anyone here played roulette for real in life <laughs> not that you would be able to to tell because most of those guys died but whatever don't know why um but um yeah that that was kind of a fun idea that, that i that we thought was pretty cool and you know, it uh, just you know adds some 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 personality and kind of flair to the gameplay. So, um, cool. and there's other stuff like there's this, there's the fucking droid droidica sniper and the OG tens are coming back and er, er, everything's just good. It's the way it should have been, you know, a year and a half ago. And so. you can't shoot the feet of the droidicas anymore. And he dropped the shield lower. The feet. Son of a bitch. <laughs> now, <laughs> now you can only poke now, your gun through the shield. Now you goddamn special forces will just have to run up and overcharge it like you always have. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I I once blew the mind of one of my medics as I was just vaulting over a droidica repeatedly because its shield was up. <laughs> I used to uh, and used to be able to pick up droidicas. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, I remember those and uh, Delta taught me how to do that. <laughs> so I picked the, I used to pick Dronicas up. And I, I remember, remember at one my, point uh my team leader got very mad with me. Yeah. Well, it works. Uh, it was uh, Jericho had grabbed a DSD. So Viking then sent an AP round at the DSD while he was holding it. Oh. Meanwhile, Platoon Command is staring at them doing it, and me and No Bear are crying. <laughs> that sounds about right. Bridger, one of you sons of bitches. I was a fucking CRC, and it was Valhalla's, I think, phase blue. And I reserved as just a trooper. And one of you bastards put a fucking T series on a spider droid. Like the, the old, <laughs> the old oh, ones. God. And it was riding a spider droid through the fucking cities. I think it was like Sophia or whatever. I won't oh. lie to you, Sandman. That was me. <laughs> um. <laughs> Does sound like some um, do back then. <laughs> I was I don't fucking do it today. <laughs> what was funny is is the um what 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 ended up happening was that the DSD turned into a ball of fire and it cooked the T series. <laughs> <laughs> like, and they like, failed because the T series died. <laughs> it cooked the T series and um, <laughs> but like while it's on fire, and this is the funniest part, is this T series is just fucking unloading on some poor CRC that was in your squad. <laughs> and I remember they were like, What are we? I'm like, I wasn't trained for this scenario. What the fuck do we do? <laughs> I think it was Taco that said that. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, poor Taco, uh, poor innocent really, taco back really in the CR. <laughs> um, but that, I mean, that was definitely one of the highlights. And, and I mean, we're still going to be able to do stuff like that. So um, that was a. Uh... That was a core memory, as the kids say. Core memory. <laughs> core memory. <laughs> Good. That's what I was. That was what I was hoping for. <laughs> that was also the same one that I keep telling people where I met Sandman. I think the real Sandman for the first time, 
Because that was the one where you were basically all by yourself running through a town and with like an S of all things, because you like the S. It sounded so much better than the A and the C. Um, And uh, he's just running through this town like some goddamn maniac. And, and it's weird as like the AI droids are like running from him. Like I've never seen that <laughs> shit before. And, he, and he's running down the street after these droids like, oh, oh, oh I gotcha. <laughs> oh, come here. <laughs> So when he became an arc, I wasn't really surprised. I was kind of like, yeah, that's very unbrand. <laughs> Do you enjoy running chaotic and unorganized ops? Do you have a burning desire to be led by a CR with 20 hours in armor to the most droids you've seen since Geonosis? Do you love it when internet NCOs flex their rank by standing next to Zeus during debriefs? Then good news, fun ops are just the place for you. Get your fun ops interest tag in Discord to be alerted when hot single fun ops are in your area. Anyway, I think it's time to announce yeah, our, our guest. guest huh? Yeah, so our guest. <laughs> He's been here. here. Um, hi, Blade. How are you? I'm, I'm going through it. <laughs> going through it. <laughs> so, like, and I, I usually ask this question to people that, are, that have been here for, for quite a long time. You're, you're, your brain is like a repository of knowledge. I had to be careful not to say suppository because that actually <laughs> means that it's just shit related. Um, but, I mean, you've been here for so goddamn long. Um, do you want to do you want to you want to kind of briefly you know tell people like where where you what, what platoon you're in you know where you where you started and how you got to where you are now oh, yeah i can i can give you guys a rundown of being here for four plus years now uh came here uh i think january 2018 uh actually got into it through the uh old man's uh will not be named uh youtube videos Saw those about a Arma unit on Arma three. Eventually, <laughs> eventually that uh, got a PC. Bought Arma three. Downloaded the mods. Finally got in here. Had no idea what I was doing. I remember the uh, first fun up I went in as a CR. Went up to a probably a CT or whoever. I seemed like they knew what they were doing. I was like, how do I use a rocket launcher? Did, did... Things went on from there. Uh, eventually got through you. CTC, as it was back in the day, uh, ended up in Sergeant Grant's Avalanche 1 1 squad. Oh, God. <laughs> that was an experience. Was there for a few months. Good old CP Clown as my team leader for a while. Um, the legend speaks. The, he's, a, he's a legend. Taught me everything I know. <laughs> uh, from there, uh, went into reserves for a little bit. Then came back into Avalanche 1-1, one, one, or not not 1-1, one, one, back into Avalanche 1, uh, got slotted in Avalanche 1-3. At the time, it was a CP point squad. He eventually went up to uh, be our platoon commander for a while. Uh, was a team leader in 1-3. Then I went big AFK for one summer. Uh, got demoted down to veteran trooper. And then about a year and a half ago... Uh, Jupiter was running 1-3 then, and he and a roster put me up for uh, ARC, got my interview and everything, went through ARD, here I am now, man with a fin on the top of his head, shooting stuff and always exploding. What, what, what I mean, what's, what's, you've seen it all, like, I, I, I want to say that there's maybe, I'm trying, I don't know if I can, I, I, I can even quantify this. I mean, there's maybe six people with more time in, in service than you. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I've yeah. I've been in I've been in this slot for a while. <laughs> You've been chilling. You've been chilling for a while. I've minute. been I've yeah. been straight vibing. I, it's what, a good um, position where I am. At, no, where yeah, I'm I I definitely think so. Um, especially in 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 one three over there, I have a high opinion of those guys. Oh, they're great. Um, Love them uh, all. Well, let's just put it this way: Blade has almost been a veteran trooper for one thousand days. That's a long <laughs> fucking time. That's most of the it's time. A, you, what um? What's what's changed between you know? I, I mean, you've seen the unit change. I probably, you know, you, you were you were the right, probably the ripe old age of beyond five 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 hundred and fifty days when I got into the unit. So I mean. That's as far back as I know, but I mean, you mentioned uh, you mentioned knowing Sparrow a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, uh, 
you see the rise and fall of so many people. What 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 do you think has changed the most about the unit since you've been here? Oh God, definitely how we. I think how we present ourselves to the outside communities that's that's been huge. I think uh, back when I first joined, like I, I was completely new to Arma and everything, and all I really knew about the unit was through uh, those YouTube videos I. What um oh sorry about that. Oh you're good. Yeah, I cut out for a second. Um yeah, so those YouTube videos kinda like drew me into it. And I I don't know if that was really like reaching out to a wider community. And I think we've been able to do a lot better job of that now of appealing to uh more people. But like you said, mentioned earlier before we started, like the process of getting through the initial stages of being in the unit takes too long and that's where we lose a, a lot of our lifeline or our, our new blood and that wasn't as much of an issue uh, from my perspective as it used to be like ctc that was quick and easy you go through your initial training go through that you become a trooper that takes all of maybe a month and a half two months and i don't know how the new up like the updates with it now are but it seems to me that it takes a lot longer for recruits and cadets to get their blues and they get stuck in this position where they're just like you guys said earlier running a dc 15a and fun ops and doing nothing and then getting bored and then leaving eventually yeah, before you got in bridger we were talking about that i may or may not have started work on my first mfr ever and it's it's spooky <laughs> You'll find out, maybe, probably, most likely. Dune! Well, when Delta asked Oh, boy. <laughs> That's right. What kind of extracurriculars have you done here, uh, Blade, while you've been here? Ooh. Um, I did... I was, for a little bit, a uh, support cadre. Or a junior cadre. I remember uh, Pompano. If any of you guys remember him. He ran a huge support class with like two squads worth of guys because we were they were redoing support at the time. Uh, from that, I got more interested in it because it was like the introduction of the uh, motto or the L as it's called now. And I was like, oh, this gun's really cool and I want to teach people how to use it. Uh, then I kind of like got bored of that, got into Zeusing a lot more and was an operator for a while. Actually, today just took my... Uh, retest with the accolade ones up so hopefully crit case thought it was well there were a few uh, frame issues every now and then but that always happens in ftx's so yeah just zeusing and some weapon qual stuff that's all the extracurriculars i've really done uh when i was pursuing uh, trying to become an nco and uh, trying to become a squad leader back in the day uh i was looking more into like other like different kind of C shops like besides weapon quals like uh I forget it, what the whatever the R and D is R and R and D uh don't know what the term for it is like our uh uh, uh God Ox Oxmont team that's what it's called now I was looking into getting into that but then never really figured out what I was doing with like modeling or texturing I can code a little bit but not nearly enough for what they need to do. So it kind of gave up on that and then put everything into Zeusing. I mean, they, they can always use modeling. Um, as far as, I mean, Zeusing goes, I just looked at your, I just looked at your avatar on Teams. <laughs> um, as far as Zeusing goes, you know, you were, you, you, you were pretty busy with, with, with the Zeus department, if, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. I, uh, I used to Zeus a lot of FTXs, a lot of FTXs, like maybe once every week for a while. But then I kind of burnt out after a bit of time, kind of stopped Zeusing, just kind of went to my Avalanche one ops. I felt burnt out for a while because, like you said, I've been in this unit for a while. <laughs> so the, you get to a point where you kind of just need to take a break and do something else, like like refresh your mind. So I just looked into uh, other uh, army units for a bit. Like I found a 40k one, got into that for a bit. Um, that lasted maybe a month. Then I came back here. So I just needed a bit of a refresher or a bit of a break. 
and then I'm I'm trying to get right back into where I was with being a extremely active Zeus, and I think I've successfully been able to do that with uh, restarting my fun op campaign. Shameless plug: you all should attend those fun ops whenever <laughs> I put a an announcement in. You die a lot, but they're super fun from what people have told me. So I keep throwing a lot of stuff at people. What is uh, what is your fun ops campaign? So be? oh, it's. With the chronological thing that I've done for it, it's been going on for a while. So it initially, like two years ago, I started uh, like trying to take the entire island of Stratus. Had that go on for like three, four months, maybe. After that, I started to make a like campaign document of uh, like getting SQFs and things like that ready for Altus. And so, like, my story thing was, oh, Stratus moon of, is, like, the moon of Altus or whatever. And that's where the uh, Hailstorm Battalion is setting their staging ground for the invasion of that planet. And that's where we are now and where we have been for uh, the past, like, year and a half or so. It's it's a long campaign. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it. I've got a lot of IRL stuff coming up in the next few months. Uh We've taken about the entire eastern side of the map. We're right at the main airfield at the at the center of Altus. And then I'll figure where things go from there. But my goal with that originally was to have an SQF for every single section of Altus so that you know, if I was running fun ops or whatever, I could just place one down so people could be more immersed and feel like they're in Star Wars rather than just on a vanilla map with like clone trooper skin fighting droids so i've I've really just tried to uh, immerse people as much as i can with what i do and fun ops to make them feel like they're really in star wars how much planning goes into that just out of curiosity i've um i know buffalo and i kind of did a soft we we started a campaign uh we were planning on doing one uh another map related one um may or may not be Cash Geek related. Um, but we were kind of planning on doing stuff something like that. How much oh. how much um I would say when you're when you're planning out because obviously you want the story to go in a certain direction. Mm-hmm. Um how how do you do that? Like do you is that something you just kinda like you know think of like in an evening and go like, all right, this is what we're gonna do, or do you do it one one op at a time, or do you plan like the whole storyline out in advance? I'm definitely not planning everything in advance. I try to make it go how the uh, op they're in ends up going. So they they have a say in the story as much as they can. Like, obviously, I want it to go in a certain direction with things. But I try to make it so that their actions have a day to, uh, sorry direct impact on the storyline. So it doesn't feel like everything is predetermined. So it puts a bit more uh, in, like stress on them in that mission to be like, oh, say we're do- going after X objective, we better try not to, like, kill any HVT or uh, make our side relations worth with, like, this extra faction we're working with. So that could, like, prevent a whole, or, like, present a whole new set of problems that they'd have to deal with later down the line. So it, it's, I do plan out, a de- like, a week or so. I do them, like, roughly every week, so it, Roughly about that amount of time goes into the planning. I make the SQF in about a day or so. And then I go into the storyboard section of it where I'm like, why is this here? What's important about it? Who are these people that they're going to meet when they're on the ground? Uh, that takes maybe another day. So it's like two days I'm working on it. Like not in total, but like a two-day period where I'm putting everything together to make sure that everything makes sense with what I'm doing because at this point it's it's getting bigger and I'm trying to make sure that everything lines up with each other and on top of that I'm also using a Empire at War for like the uh, uh, space or naval battles that are supposed to be going on at the same time that they're on the ground so that also has another impact on them so it's, it's a bit complex at times but it doesn't take an extreme amount of time with planning everything out Sorry, I, my cat just walked in and looked at me like he was very pissed at me, and I don't know what I did and did not do. Oh, good. 
Reminds me of my ex girlfriend. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Um, but, um, <laughs> uh, um, no, I mean, as far as that, I mean, I think a lot of people, like, I, I think, you know, especially Zeusian campaigns, like, I think it, it, it's it's a lot of, you know, no one really knows or, or, or really appreciates how much time and effort it gets put into that. Um, and uh, I think, I, I guess I was just, I was curious about your process because you, you've, you've done successful stuff with that pretty frequently. Um, I think there'd be good advice to anybody new that might want to try that. So that's, uh, I mean, I think that that's a pretty good, solid start for, for anybody. And I think that's awesome advice. Um, talk about, um, you know, you, you are obviously an arc for, for one, three, um, and, and, and one, three being, being what it is. Um, I, uh, I, I constantly used to make fun of Swanee for like, I used to tease him and say like spud and napkin, like do everything. <laughs> Um, and, um, uh, obviously, I mean, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of history in, in that squad and in that platoon alone. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I guess I was just curious, you know, who's, who's your favorite squad leader oh, out God. of, uh, out of, out of all of the first platoon, oh. uh, squads you've been in? <laughs> oh, that's, Swan- Swanee did, he he's a model squad leader, in my opinion. Like, he. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to make sure two fire teams are cohesive and complete an objective when we're giving orders from platoon. But when I first joined with Point, I I don't know if this is because I'm looking back at that with nostalgia, and I was impressionable. But he just welcomed me into the squad, make, made me feel like I fit right in, and that I didn't have to like uh, make up time since everybody else that was in there had been in there for a while. So I was a bit intimidated. I was a lot younger. Uh, so he really made First Platoon and 1-3 feel like a home that I've been able to stick in. And uh, when he got moved up, Jupiter took over. He did, a, he did a pretty good job. Things were pretty lax back then. And then uh, eventually when he left and Swanee took over, Swanee did an amazing job of filling that role and holding the glue that was 1-3 to keep the rest of the platoon together because we have had our rough patches over the past few years. Uh, but our squad leadership has been phenomenal, and <clears throat> uh, he's he's done a great job, and I'm very happy that he's been able to get up to our platoon sergeant billet. Uh, but def, I think Point is going to have to be my favorite, just because he he was really my first uh, squad leader that I enjoyed being under. No, no oh. <laughs> nothing, nothing against Swanee and Jupiter. They were they're both great. Both great squad leaders. Just point was the OG. No, was, I got point, a, was point actually a furry? I I I I hear. <laughs> I, I cannot. I hear, I hear, I hear, okay, I yeah. Cannot. We're, we're not going to talk about it. I talk to give we're not going to talk about it. I, All right. I can't uh, say. Yeah. Anything it's on one that of the I didn't know him personally. It's okay if he is. I don't give a shit. I just <laughs> like, I'm just fucking. I'm curious about everything. That was a whole arc and fucking. I have one story. <laughs> Man, bro, I fucking almost just like spit out this drink. That was just, that just literally like Well, um... Hegner Hegner makes fun of me for not being myself on the podcast. He calls me Fake Bridger. <laughs> so I'm being myself, okay? I'm, I'm giving it a try. Well play, I got an easier question for you. Who's been your favorite uh one Romeo? <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the the one and only. <laughs> No one can beat money. I think money's been the only one Romeo for him. Yeah, I've only interacted with money one time, and uh, he's a cool guy. All, all I remember is, is like when I was trying to design a helmet, I was like, oh, dude, I'll put the credits logo on there. I bet no one's thought of that yet. <laughs> the dude's I had finally it found years. his helmet through when I was trying to get a corporal helmet figured out, and I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> it's been here. Uh, I remember CIP money in a fun op. Three years ago, oh, that's unheard of. <laughs> it was on Bondor's Death Trooper Ops. It was oh like my God, final I medical that. shadow. <laughs> Those were cursed, <laughs> cursed ops. <laughs> oh. What about um? Did you know Aeon very well, Blade? Uh to an extent, not 
No, okay. Not I was, really. No. I was, uh, man, what? Oh, man, I'm just trying to think of it. You come from a platoon with rich history. I mean, you know, you you mentioned clown. Um, oh yeah. You, know, you were probably around Kestrel a whole lot. You were probably around um... my condolences. They had <laughs> all the veteran troopers for the longest time. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. half of the people. Boomer platoon. Boomer we are platoon. boomer platoon. Old fellows in here. How, I mean, how do you guys? I mean, you guys have stuck around for like so long. Like, what? What do you think is this? The has been the success to to that? I mean, I mean, some of the obviously a lot of other platoons stick together, but you guys, you know, for the most part, have a pretty solid, you know, retention rate mm-hmm. of people. It's just the same people, you know. And if somebody gets recycled, like you know, Legia like disappears to like Cyclone Two for like three months and then comes back, your fucking platoon sergeant. You know what I mean? You like, hey, I'm back, everybody, and everybody's like, prestige, prestige, prestige. Speaking of, I didn't realize Gamble was back in there. Oh yeah, he's back. And Gamble's back. That's my point. You know, like fucking, you know, fucking tease crying like you like. I love you, Lego. You know, it's it, 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 it's crazy. You know, and and mm-hmm. I think that speaks a lot to like you know you guys are like you know these these are the boys, you know, and um you know nothing's gonna change that. But did you guys do anything different? Like. You drinking Michael's secret stuff? Like, what's going on? <laughs> not to my knowledge. They might they might have been, not but not me. Um for for a while, um uh, it, it I think it just has to do with how long everyone has been in there. We've all been through a lot together and we've all grown to know each other really well throughout all the time we've spent together. So I think that definitely helped build the sense of community within Avalanche One. So we were all pretty comfortable with each other and whenever we did see someone that left and then is coming back again we'd always get pretty excited for someone to be moving up within the platoon or coming back in uh that's definitely helped uh with our i wouldn't say success i I don't know if that's the right word but with our like maintaining a maintaining a uh like a sense of community within the platoon um Just, I'm try. I, I don't even know what what's been uh, keeping everyone here. We've all Just, been there. We don't know. We, we don't know. I I could not tell you what is keeping the first platoon together. Um, probably like you know with everything else, you know, duct tape and farts and it, know, it could definitely be that. Stuff. I know, I, like a while ago, uh, before we lost a few members of 1-3, we'd all get on game nights every now and then, and the platoon has been trying to uh, reintroduce something like that, where we'd all just get together off of armor, or a few of us get together, do play some other game, because we I remember when uh, MCC came back to, uh, or came out to PC, like, all of first platoon got on into our uh, barracks, and we just played like Halo Reach big team battle together, or something like that just play game nights right after our FTXs or the op, our ops. And that would, we don't, it would just feel like the boys playing video games. And that was a great feeling. So just doing anything like that was definitely what keeps first platoon together. Just dope, man. When, when um, I, I know, and you, you mentioned this, but uh, I do notice you're not a, you're not an NCO anymore. Yes. And uh, it, it seems like you like it a little bit better. What do you think? Pros and cons of being an NCO? What do you think those are? Uh, pros, I you get a visor. And that was that was <laughs> my main reason for trying to become an NCO was thermals, thermals, and uh, standing in front of people in fun ops. That was, <laughs> that was my motivation. Having a little Paul purely noble, this... <laughs> purely noble reasons, of course, of course, of course, all for the community. Definitely not <laughs> self advancement. Nothing like that. Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I enjoyed it. It's, it. It felt cool to be like that, to just like kind of organize squad trainings or organize things with my fire team. I I liked that. Um, paperwork was okay. It wasn't that bad. I mean, I have to do it now, and it's nothing. Um, cons, you have to go to leadership things. That That's really the only con. You have to like you are responsible for your fire team and making sure that they all attend an op and that they're consistently showing up. And if someone's not showing up, it sucks that you have to deal with it because you might really like that person that's in your squad and in your fire team. But if they 
aren't coming to ops, aren't coming to trainings, you you might have to let them go. And I hated to do that because I loved uh, having like getting to know the people in my fire team and becoming more cohesive together. That was that was amazing. Um, but then there's also like the time commitment side to it, and I couldn't really meet that when I was an NCO. So I kind of just went AFK in the headset, didn't really do anything about that. And I paid because of that. And that's put me on the path that I'm on now. And I'm kind of happy that that happened because if I'd probably be 1-1 one, one, or 1-3 one, squad lead right now or the acting squad lead if I uh, did not get demoted. And I don't know what my... Uh, experience in this unit would be like because of that because being a squad leader and being an arc are i would assume two completely different things i don't know how far i could have gone up the ranks at this point since i've been in my billet for over a th nearly a thousand days <laughs> but i'm I'm happy with how things turned out and ncos are cool i i enjoyed it but i think it's better for me to just be a trooper right now nice no you don't have, you don't you don't have to be you know it's, it's wherever you want to you know whatever makes you most happy i guess exactly like you know now, uh, platoon arc i don't know what that would be like i think that'd be cool i don't know if cp blade is ready for a return at all prestige prestige, prestige. who knows <laughs> who knows what'll happen jin he's coming you better, you better, you better. <laughs> he's a fucking rock he's part of the fucking you can't move Earth now. i love that man you can't move him he i was like, amazed he's too, that he's too he stubborn left to assault <laughs> It was like um, a clown so, stepped away from assault. It was just wow. Clown. Rest in peace, clown. <laughs> clown. For anybody that doesn't know who clown is, by the way, if you go to the mega doc of training, <laughs> like like ninety percent of what like trainings consist of in the unit from squad leads and platoon level and higher, that man wrote all of that. And then you know, Strill did a couple things, and Hoodoo did a couple things, and I think Jub and Smiley did a couple things, but. It's mainly it's just mainly clown or the mind of mind of clowns. So that's I mean that's ridiculous. How much stuff did he like test on you guys? Just out of curiosity. Oh, a lot, a lot of stuff. We would do plenty of AT testing in our fire team and our squad trainings. It was, and this was back when he was trying to make you be insane with an ARP or an HH fifteen rocket launcher when you could barely shoot straight. It was crazy what he would do. It would, like, throw all different kinds of AI at you, plenty of different kinds of scenarios to see, like, what foxholes worked best, what trenches you wanted to put down when. It was it was bizarre, but it worked. He just he tried his best to make 1-1 one, one the best possible squad it could be through whatever means were necessary. He was a good guy. Oh, yeah. Well, here's a, here's a question. That uh, is kind of a tradition here. Oh boy! And I think I'll do it with Name platoon commanders. <laughs> I think I'll do it with platoon commanders here. Okay, so who was who do platoon commander right after point? Is that right? Yeah, right, went from point to I th yeah, I, th I think that's okay. that's how it went. Okay, point. <laughs> Hoodoo Legia, you gotta fuck one, marry one, kill oh, one. Go. Oh God. Uh, Mary Point, definitely Mary Point. Uh, mm. <laughs> this is tough. This is a tough one. Kill Hoodoo. Sorry, Hoodoo. <laughs> <laughs> and that just leaves Legia. What a guy. I would also fuck Legia, so that one makes sense to me. <laughs> Did you ever no point at all, Bridger? Did you ever interact with him? No, that's um, that's a little before my time. Ah, uh. no, I was a you a, a wee, I was a wee senior trooper mm. for uh, for a very long time. He's just uh, white material. Don't worry. He is okay. Yeah, I heard he was. I heard. I mean, I heard. You know. I, I know the the original plan was that he was going to be a company commander at one point. Yeah. Um, um, and, uh, I mean, that obviously, you know, didn't work out. And, mm -hmm. But, I mean, you know, if you if you get up to that point, like, you know, you're worth you're worth a lot to, to, to the unit as a, in, in general, so. Oh, yeah. And then he was like, Shazam! Inactive reserves. 
Dope, see dope, him dope, every dope. now and then, but would be cool for him to come back sometime. Well, you know, never say never. I mean, some of the most interesting people that I've seen in the in the unit, you know, end up coming back, you know, maybe a year, you know, later. Mm-hmm. So you know, it, yeah. it it depends. You know, depends what happens. So I would never say never. I think that some people end up missing it because there's always, you know, the, the funny thing about this unit and this, I don't, I even want to call it lifestyle, even though it's really not. But <laughs> for some people, like it is, like there's like. Again, you know, when squad trainings, then like, oh, Bobby, come down to eat dinner. Stop running your <laughs> fucking arma shit. <laughs> I'm an arc, mom. You don't rake. <laughs> hey, just because I I've, you, I've waited an hour or two sometimes to have dinner. <laughs> I, I, Courtney doesn't understand, man. Like, I don't fucking, I, I don't know how many times I got to tell her I'm special forces. I don't have to fucking answer her. <laughs> well, if she wants to play putt putt. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, you, you know, for some people, like, they always have fond memories and they always come back. And mm-hmm. at least the, last, the last year or so, I mean, we've seen a lot of people, you know, come back, you know, that, that wanted to, you know, that, that stepped away. But, you know, are in roles now, you know, that, um, you know, are not as demanding. But, the, you know, they still have fun. So. Oh, yeah. Never. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I read something funny in a, in a channel. Uh, n- never, 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 uh, you know, never say never, and there's never a dull moment. You know, that's what I'll say there. Um, yeah. Um, is the last question for you. Last question. All Serious right. question. Um, you were part of the fledgling, and you you mentioned it. You're part of the fledgling, um, the first version of ARD. And I, yep. obviously, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to be like, "Hey, what happened?" <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, you you know. But um, you obviously went through that process. There was like a group of, and I, I think I was there um, when y'all graduated because we did that big like picture time moment or whatever. Oh, I think I still have that picture somewhere on my. Phone. Yeah, I'm in like the top row. Like I don't even know. They're just like all NCLs get on server, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna get PP. Sli-. Like I don't know why we were there. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I got that. I was like, what, like, what is going on? <laughs> right, and um, I, and so I thought that was pretty cool. But I mean, obviously, I mean that class. I mean that was definitely worth celebrating. Um, you know what? Um, did did you like that process? How long did that process take? You know what was um. Hmm. It was. I just realized everybody in here has been an arc at one point in time. So. <laughs> it was a bit long. It, it it did feel long at times, but I I enjoyed it. For, it felt cool to have like a sort of classroom esque setting to like learning about what we were doing. Because I I got selected. I was put into it. I'm like, what what is going on? I'm I have pauldrons now and a comma. What do I do? Hey, and wake up. For to have like the guys that had already gone through it, the uh, at the time new platoon arcs because they they're the first class they went through that was like maybe six guys, six or seven guys, and uh, it seemed like they all knew what they were doing. So, learning from them and going to their classes, it kind of gave you a bit of a bond with the other arcs that were new there with you. Not and uh, <clears throat> I, I liked that environment personally, and then after we got through all of our our trainings and then we finally moved on to our like final test-esque thing where we made a uh, planetary recon report or something like that and that was a whole like month or so process where we all had arc teams get on onto a map at specific times and we like laid out a uh like just gained intel on a planet that we had no idea of like what anything was to like for sure I just thought that was that was really cool to do something like that because I I never expected anything like that to be done in a uh, milsim game where I'm just like running across a field and shooting things and instead now I'm like oh my god I'm like actually like just chilling in a rock looking at a town for an hour and I find this to be cool and fun and entertaining <laughs> like I I did not expect that to ever happen but I had fun just staring at a town and looking at people walk around. Not to sound like a stalker or anything, but like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be done. The rest of my platoon makes fun of us for staring at a tree. <laughs> now, now, now they know the inside of it. I, to do something like that, like in, I, I thought it was cool that uh, to do something like big, like huge recon with like twenty 
plus guys organized into like six, seven teams all coordinating with each other to write a giant report at the end and present that, or not really present that, but show that to show how far we've come and how much we've learned. I thought that was really cool. I, I don't know what art is really like now. I know it's more casual and I think that's good too because then it gives it more of an uh, approach for people that want to know what arcs do and that people like anyone can really go to it it seems like now yeah. um, it, it's changed a little bit um the planetary recon is it's it's a still in the thought process i know rain was you know writing some stuff up about it but instead of that giant class you're kind of like assessed individually now so like mm -hmm. the final thing instead of doing that big uh intel packet you have you know a platoon arc come or fucking company arc from all around and they kind of like assess you as you run as that fucking that arc so like i ran as an exit two when i was being evaluated mm -hmm. but that what you talked about was one of my favorite things and still is of arc like the first thing i did was it was an arc operation. We had fucking Acklay and we had Arc. Arc went in. We did this giant planetary recon. Mm -hmm. That's all we were there for. We were there to take pictures, maybe blow something up, possibly. And like for 45 minutes to an hour and a half, we ran around, took pictures, and then we're like, what if we take out those guns before the, uh, <laughs> the other guys come? The regular clone troopers. And then we fucking turned it into a suicide mission. And it was fucking the most fun I've had in Arma. I, I love doing things like that. Like, I there's definitely I feel like there's been a decrease in the opportunities or the frequency with like doing like an arc recon op or anything like that. Because the last time I really remember doing something like that is just detaching early before the rest of the platoon to just uh, scope out the AO. And like that, that's cool too. There's nothing wrong with that. But I miss being able to get like all of the arcs together at some point because it feels like you're really just isolated from everyone yeah. else like you you yeah. have the you have your arcs in your platoon and you have your platoon and that's great but to get all of the other like i know it's very hard to do this but to get some of the other teams or all of the other arc teams coordinated together for some time on like a weekend to go all do something i think that'd be cool to do do you ever play the video game called socom us navy seals no, oh, I yeah. didn't. Yes, sir. Bro, we did and we did arc ops just like that. It was fucking. It it felt so fun. It was fun. It was fun as fuck. It would be like, yeah, Bravo teams moving up to the OP. Roger, gotcha. And like we had like <laughs> six different arc teams operating on the map at the same time. Oh, that was so. Weird. It was like fucking Nexu one to Nexu three, and then Crate one to Crate three, mm -hmm. and like they're we're all fucking stealthily approaching this fucking airfield, like. Yeah, we got one bitch in the fucking sink. <laughs> Throw his body in the fucking bush, like what? Mm -hmm. Fucking take some pictures, like it, it's but, just a completely different gameplay aspect because it's but, stealth. Yeah, it's, it's you, fun. It's it's really fun. And then you have crate two, do crate two things, <laughs> as they used to do. Good times. <laughs> Good shit. Well, I think we'll. Uh... I think we'll uh, we'll wrap it there. Hey, Blade, thanks for being on, man. Oh, thanks um, for having me. It's, uh, it's nice to hear from somebody who doesn't have, you know, like a CC by their name. <laughs> We're going to do more of these for sure. We'd love to have you back on. We appreciate you coming out. Oh, I'd um, love to be back. Anytime. And uh, we'll have a, we'll have a, I think we'll have a big, we're planning something pretty heinous uh, coming up here and. I'm sure Aiden is now like, what are you talking about? But um, we're, we're planning, we, we're planning something kind of big. Um, maybe like a multi-person podcast soon here and, uh, we'll have a group of people. So we'll probably have you back. So we'll I'd have love a... to be back for that. You don't, you guys don't know what you I, just I did. I'm not the loop yeah, she, you I, I, yes, I did. Aiden just cracked out his Ticonderoga number two pencil and was like this motherfucker. <laughs> hey, I do happen to have a Ticonderoga. <laughs> you just made the list. That's it, Bridger. You're done. Buddy. You're done. You're done. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but other than that, um, Val's not here because his car <laughs> turned into a exploded. Bomb. Yeah, right. Forgot about that. <laughs> no, we talked about that at the beginning. The Irish car so... bomb. Here in my hangar with my brand new Lat C. Fun to fly around here on Geonosis. But you know what I like more than this Lat C? 
It's supporting the 501st Legion on Patreon. Every month, the unit's responsible for keeping the lights on. We can only do that with your support. Like our famed Captain Rex once said, that's what brothers do. Aiden, do you have everybody ready for uh, the uh, hail and farewell segment for tonight? Uh, yes. Uh, let's start with farewell since it's uh, always the shorter list. Uh, hey, progress. Hey. We recently have had uh, Deadly has uh, left the unit. Uh, either any of you uh, more familiar with him? No. Cause, uh, Anyone? Well, I know he was he was an older member, right? That's all I know. I forget if he was one of the ones that had the name change when he returned at some point. That's been happening a lot. Uh, we also had Ithias, who also was around for quite some time and was in, I believe, Minoc for quite a bit. Oh, seven. And uh, one I definitely know would be able to uh, speak some on. Uh, recently had C.T. Blair. Has uh, stepped away from the unit due to things going on in his life. Um, I've known Blair for <clears throat> I've known Blair for ten years, almost eleven years now. Um, actually, um, I've known him since I was about fifteen years old. Um, and we used to run a different community, um, kind of offline. And Valhalla makes fun of me for this because I, I I talk about it all the time, but. Um, if anyone, you know, wants to sit and listen to that anytime, I'll be happy to tell them the story, but, um, we ran a community together for, for a good number of years and we ended up becoming really good friends. Uh, if you guys are familiar with my loud roommates, sometimes in the back of my, my headset, I actually live with a couple of them now. Um, we became that good friends. We, we were that good of friends in the community that we were in that, um, <laughs> I ended up moving in with, with them. Um, and, um, you know, Blair unfortunately has some has some health problems that have kind of reared its its ugly head in, in the past few weeks and hasn't hadn't really told anybody about it. And um, you know, this is a guy that when we were growing up, when we were kids, he would like do like extreme parkour and break his arm and not tell anybody for like a week <laughs> and like not go to hospital. Um, so um, I was a little bit shocked, you know, when he had to go to the hospital. This, so this past week and some some internal stuff is uh is is taken a little bit a little, a little bit weird a little bit the wrong way so um he has to step away obviously but um you know I love that guy to death and I know his squad I know I have three three really misses him and is going to miss him um and we just want him to be well and have a good recovery and what you know whatever that's going to take you know we'll we'll be in support of that so um you know, sad, really, really sad to see him go. That's my boy. And, you know, I, I'm going to keep checking on him, make sure he's okay. Um, but um, while he was here, I mean, he, you know, blue collar work, work ethic, he came, came here, put his heart out on and, um, you know, really loved to do trainings and uh, became a team leader and was getting ready to take ALC and um, was doing, you know, very exceptional work. And like I, like he always does. And, um, you know he's a he's a, he's a he's a dad. He's a proud father of two, and you know I, I want him to take care of himself so he can you know raise those little boys of his. So, um, yeah. So, sorry to see him go, but other than that, that's uh, that's all we uh, we got going. And uh, finally, our last parallel. Well, we have a. Uh... C.W. Yon, one of the also boomers around here. He's been around forever. Been Sergeant Major across the entire unit. Uh, he's transferring to 91st. Uh, so probably end up helping them rewrite everything as he does. <laughs> so uh, be sure if you ever see any of those guys around, just reach out, say hey. Sure. We're, we're gonna miss you, Yon. Mind, uh, a little chat here and there. Yon, um, Yon, uh, Yon was always was always good to me. I, I think personally, and 
always sat in on my UTC classes, so that was a lot of fun having him there. So thank you, Eon, and we'll see you soon. I'm shooting him in the face on one of my UTC classes. <laughs> the instructor friend's supposed to shoot the droids, and he shot, so I shot him back. <laughs> No, there's, there's, uh, there's no shooting in the spawn, all right? You guys are good to disconnect. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> my, my favorite yawn memory was, um, I, I guess somebody's instructor didn't show up for either UTC session. They were like, they had a rough night the red night before, which happens, right? And, and they they tried, they slept through it, unfortunately. So yawn shows up. He got he and, and he got he got shit for this. He got in trouble for this, but it, it ended up being fine. It was more funny than anything, but he um. Jan was basically like, oh, okay, and then picked up an old copy of a UTC handbook <laughs> and started to teach him and taught the them two like, sessions. <laughs> Remember the time Joe was like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> we love you, Jan. I just realized Lathana's in here right now. I had no fucking idea. I thought it was Sandman Dude, throwing his did, voice. I also <laughs> assumed that was Sandman. <laughs> Two Where'd she come of, from? How'd she get here? This password. Hell yeah. 15 seconds of fame, baby. All right. Be gone with you. <laughs> I'm change the password, Bridger. User was banned from the server. <laughs> All right. We now have well, a new password for anybody <laughs> wanting to know. That was very impressive because that was... my password had... Uh, Okay, yeah, anyway, I gotta go change my banking password now. Um, <laughs> yes. But without that being said, um, any, uh, you you want to brighten up the mood, Aiden, and finish on the uh, the arrivals? Yeah, fuck. Yes, yeah, so we got awful. quite a few God tales. Because, uh, man, do a lot of CRs come in when you don't do a podcast for two weeks? <laughs> Ooh. So... The arrivals, Aiden, where are they? Well, hold on, Aiden, before you start the arrivals, you're like my fucking mom, and the reason why I live <laughs> alone without my mom, alright? Oh you're, you're fucking passive-aggressive, and you know what, after this, when this podcast ends, we will be fighting. We will be verbally screaming at each other. Well, that's what <clears> I always do. I just poke to the, the people the above me with a stick to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did it all the time as a medic. They hated it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, hail! So we're here. We're welcoming all the new CRs. Uh, be sure to reach out. Try get involved and in doing things and find to your squad trains or whatever. Uh, quite a few of them and a few returning people, such as top of the list here, uh, Low Cath. As I uh, came back, I think he uh was a warden. For a bit with us, and then he went to the 327th for some time, but he's now returned. Uh, and we have Spectre, Regicide, Squeezy, Mori, <laughs> Wheezy. I mean, there's there's some. I, I saw uh, the one Bridge likes to keep eyes on, uh, Tubber. Uh, yes! He just uh, became a Minoc applicant. That's my fucking champion right there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, uh, Donnie, Chino, uh, Chase, which, uh, we had to think about a little bit to see whether or not we need him to change his name, because obviously we have Chaser, who's been here forever. Well, let me guess, uh, he was recruited by Rupert? He was <laughs> recruited by <laughs> yep, Rupert. Uh -huh. Yep, uh-huh. Five Rupert, minutes after Rupert. me and Kyrie talked to him about the fact of names being too close to things. <laughs> He comes back ten minutes like, like, hey, Aiden, I just uh, <laughs> did uh, yeah, what we talked We got talked this new about. recruit um, from uh, CT, excuse me, CP Rupert. Um, we got CT Sand Manor, and we have uh, C, <laughs> excuse me, CR Bridgerer, and uh, also C, CR Bladerer. Yeah. <laughs> did you Bridgerer? Yeah, Bridgerer. <laughs> Good job, no, it's it's CR Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it went up Bridge. Wait. <laughs> All right, so then we have uh, Achilles, not the one that some of you older people would know. Uh, certainly not. I was in him in uh, Ab 3's op recently. I had to keep chasing him down, and it's for a fact it's not the old one. <laughs> uh, but someone that is returning, we have uh, Rec, uh, 
quite old man. Uh, he's one of the few people with four numbers, which he luckily got to keep when he came back. <laughs> now we have Neon. Uh, this one I'm not entirely certain on. Ossian? Ossian? I'm not sure how to pronounce the two S's. Uh, we also have Vesper and uh, Jank. So thank you for no bringing way. me back to high school. <laughs> uh, next three ones are uh, pretty nice kickers. So we got uh, Sinister, uh, Napoleon, and we talked a little about this before. Oh, I, I can't uh, wait for this CRC one. now, Obama. <laughs> Let me guess, Rupert. I. Could look into it, but <laughs> oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so, because I think I remember a watch when he was being crewed, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't Rupert. But yes, uh, hail to all UCRs. Uh, Is... Please stick it around through UTC. We're, we're trying to make sure that that's a enjoyable time and a faster time than it has been in the past. Uh, so tough it out. There's plenty to do around here. Hope you find your spot and thing you like to do. I'm looking at Obama's Discord picture right now, and I am petrified. That is a <laughs> terrifying image. Oh my god! I'll watch his career with great interest. <laughs> oh my Bridger. god! Bridger. Is it LeBron? Shoot! And I'm like, shut the fuck up, kid. What? <laughs> what? All right. Well, with that being said, I'm gonna. Go I don't ahead. know how it's in the podcast. Then we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> cut it. Right no, 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 no. We're gonna cut it there. Uh, tune in next week. Dusty uh, is gonna be your host next week, and uh, we'll have a good guest. So, um, thanks so much for for coming, Blade. Thanks for being on. Oh, thanks. For I am me. excited we'll, uh, for next week. <laughs> we will see you soon. Please. Now I'll just see you. Stop this. <laughs> it's the. This-